heard about Project 2025, stop what you're doing and watch this. Project 2025 is a plan for Trump's second term that would transform America into a far-right Christian nationalist militarized state. You can read the nearly thousand page plan for yourself at project2025.org so you can know I am not exaggerating. Three key facts. Number one, a mass firing purge that Trump authorized before the 2020 election but never got to act on is at the center of Project 2025. Now, more than two million Americans across the country are part of the federal civilian workforce. Scientists at scientific agencies, doctors at the FDA, accountants at the IRS. We want experts doing jobs that require expertise. But more than 50,000 of them would be fired under this plan and replaced with MAGA loyalists who would use the power of these agencies to fundamentally change the nature of America without needing to involve Congress. Number two, Project 2025 is a far-right Christian nationalist agenda. By page five, they're already proclaiming pornography should be outlawed. The people who produce and distribute it should be imprisoned. Educators and public librarians who purvey it should be classed as registered sex offenders. This would be alarming enough if they were talking about actual pornography. But their definition spans anything that acknowledges the existence of LGBTQ people. They claim on page 451 that families comprised of a married mother, father, and their children are the foundation of a well-ordered nation and healthy society, thereby designating queer people, single parents, unmarried co-parents, and people who get abortions as inherently inferior and a threat to the state on page 584, they call for the Department of Labor to explicitly give companies permission to discriminate against LGBTQ Americans. On page 450, they also declare that life begins at conception and abortion is, quote, not health care. Accordingly, the FDA would ban abortion medications, as detailed on page 458. The administration would also seek to strip abortion services and contraception from health plans. See pages 483 and 585. Number three, Project 2025 envisions a militarized police state where law enforcement is answerable only to the president. Maybe you live in a blue city or state and you think, I don't have to worry about my librarians being imprisoned? Guess again. Page 553 lays out how Trump's Justice Department will take over local law enforcement if they don't like how your own elected officials are running things. And they will prosecute district attorneys that they don't agree with. The plan also strips the FBI director of their independence, making them a lackey of the president. See page 549. And on page 104, the plan reduces the number of military generals, so power is more fully consolidated in the commander-in-chief. A central focus of the new police state would be Trump's goal of undertaking the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. Immigration enforcement is to be conducted like a war, with the military deployed within the U.S., and millions of immigrants rounded up and thrown into newly constructed mass holding camps. A powerful new Border Security and Immigration Agency would replace the Department of Homeland Security. See page 133. This would also mean the DHS's efforts to combat far-right domestic terrorists would stop altogether. One plan that is not in the public document, but that members of the Project 2025 team reportedly disclosed to the Washington Post, is to invoke the Insurrection Act to have the military suppress public protests against Trump. I'm just scratching the surface. The plan is loaded with actions ranging from changing labor rules to effectively end overtime pay, that's on page 592, to slaughtering wild horses, that's on page 528. You can do your own deep dive on their website, project2025.org. I'm Alan Piper at A. Piper 13. Follow Courier Newsroom for all of the information you need about the stakes of the 2024 elections.